of Psalm 100. Psalm 100. It's a, it's a familiar passage in the Bible. And it's something that's needed today. I'm reading from the King James Version today. And it reads, the first verse goes, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Now, and those that have the New King James Version says, Make a joyful shout. But the King James Version says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Knowing ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. <laughs> Hallelujah. Into his gates with thanksgiving, and unto his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good. <laughs> Let me say it again. The Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting and his truth enduring to all generations. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, ye land. For something you want to say, where's your joy? Where is your joy? <laughs> You can have your seats now. Oh, Thank you. Come oh, on, man. Get excited. You. Where is your joy? First, giving honor to God, to Pastor Milan, to the, the fabulous male chorus men of faith. You know, like I said, I tried to uh, pick some songs where I wouldn't be so. Worked up before I got here, but you know, <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that. You know, when the spirit hits, the spirit hits. And, and, and that's right, we can't quench the spirit. You're not supposed to. It's a, it's a sin. And you have to let the spirit move. So I, I know the Lord's going to see me through. I have full faith and confidence in Him. You know, but I, I just want to make an observation, make a joyful noise. Uh, it appears that modern day Christians have suppressed or uh, subdued the outward expression of joy in our churches. <laughs> when it comes to praising the Lord, do I say it again? We seem to suppress our outward joy, our outward expression of emotions. Now, I don't know if it's because uh, 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 as we get older in life, we get more sophisticated. You know, uh, more debonair, more suave, you know. Uh, but, but we seem to, when we, when we come into the church of the Lord, we, we're the quietest church minds. And, and when we, we got something to be thankful for, to be getting up this morning. So where is your joy? We seem, seem, seem to be uh, 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 withdrawn for shouting. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I bet you go out to the Rawls game when they're losing, of course. <laughs> Are they winning? Yeah, you know you're going to be shouting for joy. But let me tell you, God is good all the time. And he's worthy to be praised. And so when we come in the house of the Lord, nobody should have to ask, where is your joy? There should be an open expression of, of, of joy. To know that God is continually blessing us. Even when we're at home, we're at play, at work, and especially at church. But, 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 but something, I don't know what it is. But we need to come on and open up. Because you know a lot of people are looking at us. Especially when we leave this church. You know, who wants to be with a group of old sad Slow walking, always got problems, always crying, always sobbing, never expressing joy for Jesus. Now, 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 when I was in when school, we had these uh, clubs. We didn't have games. You know, the barrios, flamingos, where were those other 
I know. The who? The who? Oh, that does catch my time. <laughs> but nobody wanted to be a part of that if they was all sad. But they all had cool colors. Come on, man. They had some fun things to do. And, and you wanted to be a part of that. So it is with Christian, with us Christians. We should be joyous, happy, glad, pleasurable when it comes to serving the Lord. That somebody see us and want to come and be with us. Am I right about it? Where is your joy? I said I was going to get too excited, but it's just, I can't help it. It's our duties as followers of Christ to lead, lead those that are lost to Him. You know we have family members that don't know Christ. You know we have a bunch of friends that are away. Co-workers and classmates. Besides, who would want to be a part of something when the people are involved doesn't even show any outward joy of being a part of what's going on themselves? Where is your joy? Back in the day, it used to be joy in preparing to go to church. <laughs> you know, you used to get ready early Saturday for Sunday. I don't know if, if anybody know about this, but Back in my mom and daddy's days, they would cook the food on Saturday. <laughs> they didn't have no refrigerators or icebox back there where they were from. But they would fix it on Saturday. Loaded up on the wagon that morning. Hook up the, the mules or the, or the horses, whatever they had. And they went, the whole family went out there way away from their house to have church. And they were happy to see everybody. They were glad. And they served the Lord with gladness. And my dad said, you know what? We didn't have any icebox or anything like that, but the food didn't even spoil. And they would be there all day serving and praising the God. But we got a problem. We got a cars. And we're just a few blocks away, but we can't come and prepare and praise God and lift His holy name up in joyous noise. Oh, I think I better go and hear him close. <laughs> I don't want to get anybody mad at me. But, but, but when we look at the text, make a joy for noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Now, 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 now. In, 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 in this book of Psalms, men are commanded to make a joyful noise to God seven times. Right. Psalm 66 1, 81 and 1, 95 1 and 2, 98 4 to 6, and of course, 100 and verse, 100 number of Psalms, first verse. Because seven. It's God's number. It's a precious number. Among all, all things, it's a number of perfection. It means perfection and God's fulfillment. Right, right. See, when we, when we come to the kingdom, uh, we all going to serve the guys. We all going to serve Jesus. We all going to be of one. All lands. There won't be any divisions. There won't be any Muslims. There won't be any Hindus. There won't be any Catholics. We all going to be serving Christ. We're going to be praising His holy name. So make a joyful noise unto the Lord and serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Oh, hallelujah. You know, the, the male choir sung today, didn't they? They came before the Lord in His presence with singing. And we, 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 uh, we need to be in that mode all the time. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that had made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pastures. Don't you know in Genesis, first chapter, the earth was void, it was dark, it was nothing. But God created the heavens and the earth. God created the waters, the grass, the trees, the animals. But he, he did something very special. He took a clump of dust and, and he molded man. He made man 
and he breathed in the, the, the breath of life. And God created us and not we ourselves. But yet, come on, come on. but yet, man himself is trying to be God, not be like him. <laughs> Did you hear me? That's, that's a little difference. I mean, he, they try to be God and not like him. They, 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 they're trying to make automatic man. They, they cloning animals. And I, I don't know, they could be trying to clone men too. But God and made us and not we ourselves. Because we are the sheep of his pastures. So you know what that means? They, 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 when God got his pastures, he got his, his realm of protection around us. We just graze in the grass <laughs> all day long. We don't have to worry about nothing because God will be protecting us. <laughs> and, but enter into his gates with thanksgiving. We have so much to be thankful for. He woke you up this morning. He started you out on your way. And he gave you a, a frame of mind where you can come and praise the Lord. And he blessed you with a family. He blessed you with a home, transportation, clothes, food, water. God has been so good to us. Hey, that we should enter his gates with thanksgiving and in his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where is your joy? For the Lord is good all the time and all the time God is what? But you know what? His mercy. <laughs> God's mercy is everlasting. Even when we not doing what we're supposed to do. God has mercy upon us. Even when we don't go where we're supposed to go. God has his grace and mercy upon us. Even when we say what we shouldn't be saying. God has his grace and mercy on us. Hey, his truth endured to all generations. And, and, and he and he's proved it when he sent his son, Jesus, down through 40 and two generations. Born of the Virgin Mary, wrapped in swaddling clothes, placed in a manger in a little town called Bethlehem. God sent Jesus for he so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that who should ever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God's truth and mercy shall endure us forever because Jesus went on the cross one day. Hey, they nailed his hand to the cross. They pierced him in the side. The blood came streaming, came streaming, came streaming down, but he died on the cross one Friday, but early. I don't know about you, but I got joy. Because early, early, what a Sunday morning. <laughs> Jesus looked down and he rose from the dead. And he looked down at this little poor boy and said, your sins are forgiven. I got joy. Joy in the morning. Joy in the afternoon. Joy late at night. Joy, I tell you. Joy. Where is your joy? Make a joy for noise unto the Lord. Where is your joy? May God bless you and keep you.